Hi there, this is John. Welcome again. And today I want to demo the new one-click selections in the latest edition of Photoshop Elements. If you click on any selection tool, you can see in the tool option bar that we have these uh, three buttons, um, select subject, uh, select sky and select background. We can also make um, selections from the select menu where we have again subject, background, sky. So I'm going to click on subject. This selection tool is powered by Adobe Sensei and that's the artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. I click on the refine edge button we can see the selection more clearly on a white on a white background i'm going to choose smart radius and use this edge detection tool to bring back some of the wisps of hair and make the selection more natural i'm just painting small sections of the edges and as you can see we start to get a better a better selection um, around our model doing this quite quickly you'll be able to spend more time on your own photos. And also I'm going to use this decontamination of colors. I'll leave the um, amount slider set at 50%, which is the default. You see a little bit of yellow from the background in the image. So if I paint over these, it should get rid of that um, yellow background showing through. That's looking much better. And just this little bit here. And I think that would do, it's not absolutely perfect, but I'm going to click OK. And what I can do now is um, use this um, selection to, to change the background. So I'm going to click on the background layer and then go to the graphics panel. And I'm going to choose this one here in the center. And there we have it. Um, again, I think that looks quite good. It looks fairly natural. And um, I hope you could see how easy that was to, um, to achieve. The selection looks good. And um, let's look at another example, um, this time using the sky select. I tend to use the sky selections more often than other selections because I nearly always want to add some drama or some change of colour to, um, to the sky. So let's go to the select menu with this different photo and choose sky. And generally um, this artificial intelligence makes a good um, attempt at selecting the sky. So I can just click Command J, that's Control J, and it creates this new layer one with um, just the sky on that layer and the remaining pixels are, are transparent. Um, so what I can do now is add a new adjustment layer by going to the layer menu, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to choose levels and click OK to create the adjustment layer. And before I make the adjustment, I'm going to create a clipping mask by hovering between those two layers whilst holding down the option or the Alt key. And you can see you get this little downward pointing arrow. So click once and that applies the, the clipping mask. So any adjustment I now make using this level dialog will only affect the sky and it won't affect the foreground in any way. And as you can see, I can make it quite dramatic by darkening the, um, the sky. I mean, I could also use um, blend modes if I wanted to, um, to change things further. Let's try um, soft light. And I think that, uses, that actually makes an improvement, I think. Um, if you wanted to, you could use the uh, opacity slider, as I've shown before, and that brings back some of the original image. And you can kind of tweak it how you like to, um, to get the kind of sky that you want without affecting the rest of the image. So let's try another example and do a sky replacement um, manually. Um, this lovely flower field is um, in Japan. And the sky is quite boring, almost completely plain blue sky, just a few wisps of cloud. So again, I'm going to go to the select menu and choose sky. And this time I'm going to go to um, select and inverse. So you can see that we've now got the foreground selected and the sky is no longer selected because we've inverted the original selection. So I'm going to do what I did before by pressing Command J and Control J, and you can see that the sky pixels are now transparent with the foreground um, showing. What I'm going to do is open up another sky image that I've got on my computer by going to File, Open, 
and it's this one here. I'm going to choose open, and it's um, a photograph which I think I've got from the internet or Adobe Stock, and it's got some birds in the sky. So I'm going to click on Command A, that's Control A to select all the pixels, and then I'm going to press Command C or Control C to copy. If I now go back to my um, original photo and press Command V or Control Control V on the PC, and that places the the sky in. I need to drag it now between the the background and the selection by just moving it down the layer stack. And as you can see, we've got the birds in the sky. And if I, if I click the Move tool, it's possible to um, to resize this and um, and to reposition it. Um, I can even rotate. Let's just um, make the um, make it smaller in the window so we can see the um, the, the handles. And just kind of um, moving this around again. I so say we can re rotate it if we want the birds at a different angle. And I think this is a much more interesting um, sky than we had originally. Let's just bring this in a bit because it's actually too large for this. Uh, photograph and I think something like that looks quite good so I'm going to click on the check mark and uh, click on the hand tool to remove the bounding box let's um, bring it back up into the frame and that's how we've replaced the sky using sky selection just another way of doing it um, if you don't get a perfect selection for the sky you can use the guided edit and we have something under special edit um, called perfect landscape and you can see that we have all these built-in presets there's 36 altogether to choose from and we also have the ability to tweak the sliders to um, to change the selection so I've put a link in the description below this video showing how to use the perfect landscape if you care to give that a try